Ice up some fucking cheetahs. Hey, throw it off, nigga, on the reaper. Hey guys, it's me Bri Miju and I wanted to just make this video. I would like to share with you guys everything that I've learned up till now. So meaning all my teenager years, through high school, struggles or not. Because I know some of you girls do watch me and you guys are in college or in high school, middle school or whatnot. And I would love to just share what I've learned throughout those years. I got into this very bad routine of eating French toast every single morning. I definitely have not been this fit for all my life. I went through ups and downs and um, actually it's been quite recently that I just discovered the diet that works for me the past two years. I remember one particular time in high school I wanted to challenge myself to see how much weight I could lose just to see what I look like or how it felt or if I could do it and so I absolutely did it but I did it the completely unhealthy way you guys restricted eating i probably ate one piece of meat and i don't know one cracker one apple a day like the whole day and then i would drink water and then i would go to the gym every single day and i would always feel hungry and i would get used to that feeling because i'd always be hungry but i'd tell myself no don't eat veggies I try to eat veggies or cereal oatmeal fruit and that would be my first meal and then it would keep me full until about three or four and then I would eat a snack which would be nuts or a smoothie and then I would eat my last meal which would be an early dinner I'm gonna say everyone should have this type of diet or it's gonna work for everybody but it worked for me and I'm happy I go to the gym every other day and I just feel good maintaining that weight because I know it's healthy. Now, all of you girls out there, I totally know how it feels to compare yourself to others Maybe look at your body type compared to other people's body type and you're like, why am I not like that? I want to look like that. And you try. And you know, this is also the problem with social media nowadays is this tool is made for us to look at other people's lives and what they're doing, which results in us comparing ourselves to them and what they're doing in their lives, which is not healthy at all. And I just want to remind all of you guys girls, guys, whatever age, that it's not even about your appearance. I mean, I'd say that it is a confidence booster and it does make yourself feel really good as well as being healthy. You feel good all around. You have good energy. But you know what? And the more I realize this is you can be very stunning. You can be extremely handsome and if you have bad energy you are so ugly and very unattractive you know to me it's all about people's energy if you have beautiful energy i see you as a beautiful person and confidence is beautiful confidence is the number one thing so no matter what you look like if you're fat if you're not up to society's standards yet you have confidence and good energy you are beautiful you are more beautiful than anybody else in this planet that are probably like super duper skinny that are very insecure that feel like they have to suffer and restrict their diet and restrict their eating to fit into this mold of society standards and that is insecure secure is being secure with whatever if you're fat overweight if you're feeling bad if you're not looking right but you hold yourself up with confidence and you know you look good and you have beautiful energy 
that is what's beautiful and that is very rare you guys you look good and you look beautiful and somebody meets you and then you don't know how to talk you don't know how you don't know yourself so you can't feel confident truly within yourself when people really get to know you because it's empty in here right all it is is just trying to look for validation from others when it's pretty much just on the surface right so let me also tell you guys something I know it's so so tempting all the time when you go on social media to compare yourself to other people to look at what people are doing I don't give a fuck you know what I'm saying look at yourself look at your lane be focused on your goals and just do that believe it or not everybody else is doing the same thing or maybe they are comparing themselves to other people but they're not going anywhere because they're too busy looking at what other, everyone else is doing you need to be focused on you be your number one fan be like I'm the motherfucking shit and forget all these other people what they're doing you need to focus on what you are doing let other people live and value yourself because know that there's only one of you there is only one of you only one person has this personality only one person looks like this only one person can do what you do okay that is you okay and you need to value it you need to be your number one fan you be like I'm the shit you need to own that shit because know that there's no one else in the world like you and that makes you special that makes you very special okay stop trying to blend in be you stand out and be proud of being uniquely you and different and own that shit so you guys thank you so much for watching i just felt the need to say that i'm probably gonna be doing more vlogs as you guys can see i am very random but i love you guys all and thank you so much for all your support